สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thai Veggie. I'm V. Today we are going to make dry chilies in oil. When you go to restaurants, you will see this kind of chilies sit in the small plate, and they will serve it with your meal. It's very simple, and the ingredients are very easy to find. So now let's get started. I have here about two dozen Thai chilies. These chilies have been frozen. Before I'm gonna use these, I'm gonna cut the stem. Don't really need those stems. Also use six cloves of garlic. What I like to do with my garlic, I like to use modern pesto. This is a very good tool to use. So just drop all my garlic in there. Now we're gonna separate our garlic shelves from the garlic. Just get a couple times pounding there, and now we're gonna separate our garlic skin. So this is how it looks like after I crushed it. Our next ingredients is lemongrass. These lemongrass have been frozen. I also use these in other recipe. This is the one that I already cut and put in the freezer, so I can use the whole year. I'm just gonna chop this lemongrass. Now we have our lemongrass, and our next ingredient, this thing here, this is galangal. Um, this has been frozen. I also use this in other recipe, um, tom kha h e t What I like to do with my galangal, cut it to pieces like this. We're gonna use about two pieces, and we're gonna just chop it really fine. Last ingredient. Here is oil. I'm using olive oil. I have here two tablespoons of olive oil. All right. Now we have all the ingredients. Now it's time to go make our dry chilies in oil. Turn my heat up to high and use a pan here. Not gonna put any oil in there. We're just gonna add our chilies here. Doing this, make sure that your chilies don't get burned. Once you get um, these chilies really cooking, you will smell the strong of the chilies. Might give you a good sneeze once or twice. We're just gonna keep these chilies on for a little while. Just keep on stirring the chilies. All right. Now um, I have been cooking my chilies for quite a bit now, and the whole house now is smell like chilies. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna just move this into a plate. That's our chilies. Next is our garlic. We are going to roast our garlic here. Do this for a little bit. Garlic now is ready, and I'm gonna move it to a little small bowl like this. There 
goes to our garlic. The next thing is our galango. And I'm just going to roast the galango. And our lemongrass. So we are going to cook this for a little bit until it's crispy out the outside. Mm, that smells good. All right, I think that looks good. I'm going to turn off my heat now and remove this into a small bowl. I'm just going to let these ingredients sit here and let it cool off because we are going to put all the ingredients in our modern pesto. What we are going to do is simply put everything in here. Roasted galango and lemongrass. pounding until it's all mixed in one paste. Now if you feel like it's making too much sound, <laughs> if you like to keep peace with the neighbor, washcloth like this will be a good tool to use. So I'll just put it underneath and that will muffle the pounding. Check our chili paste. Here is still a little bit not quite fine enough that I like, so I'm gonna keep pounding it. All right, I think we have here our chili paste. So it looks like this. And I'm gonna remove it to a bowl. Now let's go and cook our chilies in the oil. Now in my, my pan, I'm going to add my oil here. I have here two tablespoons of oil. I'm turning my heat up too high. I'm just going to start it with high heat. Once you hear the sizzling, then it's hot. Okay, looks good. Now I'm going to add my chilies into the oil. Okay, and now I'm going to just turn my heat down to medium. Mmm, now you can smell that coming. I'm going to add two more tablespoons of oil. Now we're just going to keep stirring. Keep cooking this until all the paste is turned golden brown. Mm, this smells really good. Now our chilies is turned golden brown and everything else is crispy. So I'm going to turn off my heat. This is what it should look like. 
so you can see that the oil is separate from the chilies here and what I like to do next is I'm gonna let it cool off and we're gonna remove it to a jar and here we have our chilies in oil this is really easy to make and really simple the ingredients are really easy to find thank you for watching if you like what we are doing please subscribe and like our page so that we can keep making more delicious recipes like this in the future eat healthy be happy so happy ka Keep in the refrigerator and use as you go. <coughs> oh, <coughs> and use whenever you need it.